Assalamu alaikum. In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to write about tables as one of the types you might be asked to write about in uh, academic IELTS exam. Uh, let's watch. Here's a sample essay. And throughout the sample essay, we're going to learn how to write about tables. The question says the tables below give information about sales of fair trade labeled coffee and bananas in 1999 and 2004 in five European countries. Summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons relevant. And fair trade labeled coffee and banana, that's a category of products for which farmers from developing countries have been paid an officially agreed fair price. That piece of information doesn't really matter. We're not concerned with that. We're only concerned with the table itself. Let's take a look at the table. So here's the table. So you have the two products coffee and bananas over two years, 1999 and 2004. And the sales are measured in millions of euros. And you have five countries, United Kingdom, Switzerland, Denmark, Belgium, Sweden. And they are the same five countries when it comes to bananas, Switzerland, UK, Belgium, Sweden, and Denmark. And they are mostly arranged according uh, from the highest to the lowest. So here in this part, 26 to 1.7 and one, and 1999, it was 1.53, 1.8, 1, and 0.8. And here, 15, 1, 0.6, 1.8, 2, 47, 5.5, 4, 1, and 0.9. Okay. So how are we going to write about that? Step one, you're going to paraphrase the question to write the introduction. And the question one more time says, the tables below give information about sales of fair trade labeled coffee and bananas in 1999 and 2004 in five European countries. So if you want to paraphrase, it might go like this. The two tables, because there are two tables, contain sales data for fair trade coffee and bananas in 1999 and 2004 in five nations of Europe. We replace the word uh, countries with nations, give information, contain sales data, and so on. Here's another sample. The following tables provide details concerning the sales of coffee and bananas measured in millions of euros. That's one more thing that you can do. You can um, indicate the, the amount of money which is used in the measurement. Is it millions of euros? Is it thousands of dollars? Is it another currency and another number? And so on. With fair trade labels in the years 1999 and 2004 within five European nations. That's something that you can do. So step one is to paraphrase the question to write the introduction. And that's all you have to do in the introduction. Step two, write an overall paragraph. And the overall paragraph, you need to look at the numbers one more time and try to find out the similarities and the differences between these numbers. When you look at the numbers, what you can notice is that all of them are increasing. Most of them are increasing. So 1.5 became 23, became 6, 1.8 became 2, 1, 1 1.7, 0.8, 1, 15, 47, 1, 5.5, 0.6 became 4. But here in Sweden and Denmark, when it comes to bananas, 1.8 became 1, 2 became 1, 0.9. So most of the sales are increasing. All of them when it comes to coffee, most of them when it comes to bananas, this is definitely something that you want to indicate in your overall paragraph. But also you want to say that the level of increase is not the same because some countries increase dramatically, for example, from 1.5 to 20, from 15 to 47, and others increase slightly from 1.8 to 2. So when you divide these differences, you will be able to write more meaningful information. So the overall paragraph might go like this. Overall, the tables demonstrate a rise in the revenues of the two products in most of the five countries. We say most, not all, of course. And we know why, because of these two countries. Over the given period with varying degrees, varying degrees. Okay, that's your overall paragraph. And now we're supposed to write the body paragraphs. Let's keep it simple. Let's keep it simple and easy. You have two products. So write one body paragraph for coffee, another body paragraph for banana. Inside each paragraph, you will start with the highest increase and then the lowest. Highest increase in coffee and then the lowest, highest increase in banana and then the lowest. Let's take a look at the body paragraphs. To elaborate, the initial table illustrates a rise in coffee sales across all five countries. Although the extent of this increase varies widely, 
In the United Kingdom experienced the most substantial surge. We start with the biggest increase, escalating, which means increasing from 1.5 to 20 million euros. Switzerland followed at a considerable distance with sales doubling from three to six million euros. Three to six, doubling. Belgium, why Belgium? Because we're taking into consideration the level of the increase, not the total number. Despite the fact that the total number here is higher than here, but the increase in Belgium is higher than that of Denmark. And that's why we put Belgium third. Belgium observed a notably smaller increment going from 1 to 1.7 million euros. Denmark and Sweden occupied the lower end of the spectrum in terms of the sales growth, both reflecting a modest increase. Now, when you take into consideration Denmark and Sweden, both of them have the same increase. It's 0.2 in the two numbers. 1.8 became 2, 0.8 became 1, so it's the same. That's why we put them together in the same sentence. 1.8 to 2 and 0.8 to 1 in the latter. Denmark and Sweden occupied the lower end of the spectrum in terms of sales growth, both reflecting a modest increase from 1.8 to 2 million euros and from 0.8 to 1 million euros. So we start with the highest level of increase and then we move our way downwards until we reach the bottom. And if we find that there are two similar numbers, we can put them together in the same sentence, just as what we did when, uh, with uh, Denmark and Sweden. Okay, that's body paragraph one, in which we talked about coffee. How about the second one, in which we talk about bananas? In the second table, it's Switzerland, which stands out as buying far more fra fair trade banana than the other four countries combined. Swiss sales figures jumped from 15 to 47 million euros across these five years, while in the UK and Belgium, sales only grew from 1 to 5 0.5 and from 0.6 to 4 million euros respectively. UK and Belgium, 2 and 3, 1 to 5.5, 0.6 to 4. Sweden and Denmark showed a different pattern with falls in banana sales from 1.8 to 1 and 2 to 0.9 million euros. Okay. Now, you may decide to stop at this part because you have plenty of information and you definitely reach 150 words. If you choose to continue, that's if you feel that you have more time and there's something interesting that you can add, then you can add a closing paragraph, which is, as I said before, optional. You may comment on the countries with the highest sales or low sales. What do you do here? Maybe comment on the countries with the highest numbers or the countries with the lowest numbers. That's something that you can add in the closing paragraph like this. It's worth noting that the UK and Switzerland were the top two countries in both products in 2004. UK and Switzerland, top two in both countries, 20 to 6, 20 and 6, and then here 5.5 and 47, they are the top two countries in the two situations. However, the UK was the highest in coffee, whereas Switzerland came first in bananas. UK highest in coffee, Switzerland first in bananas. Or you may comment on the range. What's the range? The range means the highest and the lowest at the same time. An overall comparison of the two tables indicates that in 1999, coffee sales ranged from 0.8 to 3 million euros, 0.8 to 3. That's the lowest and that's the highest. While banana sales mostly clustered, clustered here can also mean ranged between 0.6 and 2, 0.6 and 2. Ah, but we have one exception, which is Switzerland. With the exception of Switzerland, 15 million euros. By 2004, the figures for both products had risen across the board, demonstrating a wider range. So here we can't have a range. The range is from 1 to 20. The, the range is so wide, so wide here. And here we can't have a range 0.9 to 47, so wide also. So that's why we were able to find a range in 1999 for coffee. And also we found the range in 1999 for bananas, except for Switzerland. But when it comes to 2004, we can't really find the range. It's so wide from 1 to 20 and from 0.9 to 47. And that's what we said. If you don't like the range, no problems. You can just comment on the highest and lowest countries as we did in the previous paragraph. So based on that, the whole essay should look like that. The following tables provide details concerning the sales of coffee and bananas measured in millions of euros with fair trade labels in the years 
1999 and 2004 within five European nations. And then you have the overall paragraph. Overall, the tables demonstrate a rise in the revenues of the two products in most of the five countries over the given period with varying degrees. And then you have one paragraph for coffee. To elaborate, the additional table illustrates a rise in coffee sales across all five countries, although the extent of this increase varies widely. We start with the United Kingdom. The United Kingdom experiencing the most substantial surge, escalating from 1.5 to 20 million euros. Switzerland followed at a considerable distance, with sales doubling from 3 to 6 million euros. Belgium observed a notably smaller increment, going from 1 to 1.7 million euros. Denmark and Sweden occupied the lower end of the spectrum in terms of sales growth, both reflecting the mod a modest increase from 1.8 to 2 and from 0.8 to 1. And in the second table, it's Switzerland, which stands out as buying far more freight bananas than the other four countries combined. Swiss sales figures jumped from 15, 15 to 47 million euros across these five years, while in the UK and Belgium, sales grew only from 1 to 5.5 and from 0.6 to 4 million euros, respectively. Sweden and Denmark showed a different pattern with falls in the banana sales from 1.8 to 1 and 2 to 0.9 million euros. And then you have the closing paragraph, which is optional. You can definitely stop at this part because we have exceeded 150 words. An overall comparison of the two tables indicates that in 1999, coffee sales ranged from 0.8 to 3 million euros, while banana sales mostly clustered between 0.6 and 2 million euros, with the exception of Switzerland, 15 million euros. You can stop at this part. If you want to add information about 2004, no problems. By 2004, the figures for both products had risen across the board, demonstrating a wider range of variation than 1999. Okay. That's going to be your homework. That's a table. You're supposed to read it and write an essay about it. You're going to start with the introduction in which you paraphrase an overall paragraph in which you try to comment on the most, most noticeable features here. And then finally, some body paragraphs in which you illustrate the information that you mentioned in the overall paragraph. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. I hope this was a useful video. And that's it. Assalamu alaikum.